What's up everyone, in today's video I'm going to be covering how to play Caustic in Season 11 and specifically on the new map Stormpoint. I will briefly cover his abilities for you newer players, but I'll also throw in a ton of intermediate and advanced tips for mastering Caustic in Season 11. We gotta get to the bottom of where Caustic fits in on this map, is he meta or not? For anyone who's new to my channel, I have over 20,000 kills on Caustic across two platforms and my channel centers around helping you guys improve at Apex. So without anything further, let's get into this Apex Legends Masterclass. First, we gotta go over Caustic's abilities. Caustic is a big boy, so he gets a perk called Fortify. In exchange for having the second largest hitbox in the game, he takes 15% less damage and he is not slowed by bullets. Caustic's passive, which is called Nox Vision, gives him the ability to have enemies lightly highlighted for him while they are in his gas. However, this passive only works about 50% of the time, so it's not something you should bank on. It seems to have been bugged for the past few seasons and they haven't really addressed it. Caustic's tactical is a gas trap that will spray his gas if it's been activated, which simply happens if someone gets close to the trap or if someone shoots the black part of the trap. Caustic can have up to six of these traps out at once. And lastly, Caustic's ultimate is the Nox Grenade. It's basically how it sounds. It's a gas grenade that lasts for 15 seconds and the damage the gas will do is a scaling measure. So it will start off by doing five damage every second. And then after two seconds, it goes up to six damage. And then again, after those two seconds, it goes up to seven, etc., etc. Enemies will be slowed and stunned and they can't see very well in your Caustic gas. And so now that you know the basics, let's talk about how to use Caustic and particularly on the new map, Stormpoint. Now, Stormpoint is the biggest map to date that we've seen in Apex Legends. You compare it to World's Edge, it's about 15% bigger than World's Edge. There's a lot of open space, but there's also a good amount of buildings that will favor a Caustic playstyle. Places on the map such as Stormcatcher, Command Center, some parts of Barometer, and Cascade Falls are all great for Caustic. I mean, generally anywhere indoors on this map will favor you as a Caustic. Each spot is unique because of its architecture, but if you have the ability to get enemies to fight you on your turf and on your terms, Caustic is an absolute beast. See, one of the biggest issues with players is they don't know how to deal with a Caustic. They get too impatient and end up dying to his gas plus a close range encounter where they're disadvantaged in. But good players will make Caustic waste his ultimate and wait till Caustic is on cooldown with his gas traps and then while he's basically useless they will push. Or if they get a good beam on you and you're weak enough the gas isn't really a big enough deterrent for them to stop pushing you and trying to eliminate you. It's important to understand Caustic's role on the team. Caustic is a defensive legend but that does not mean you have to sit in a building all game with him in hopes enemies come your way. Because Caustic is a big legend and because he has a damage dealing ability, you want to think about close quarter combat with him. The best way to use him is up close and personal. This way, in theory, his gas can be messing up enemies while you gun them down. Caustic is a great legend for the team and I can also do fairly well with him as a solo if my random teammates die and quit on me. Sure why you did that but not always because he does have his weaknesses too he lacks mobility and he's a very large target if you're caught out in the open transitioning from one place to another it can be really difficult at times on storm point you always want to be trying to take fight indoors with caustic or at least with some cover in mind if you're outdoors having his traps available to place or already have them down are critical to a quick and easy fight the buildings on storm point are pretty unique compared to some of the other buildings we've seen before so always be assessing where entrances and exits are, what's the high ground, the low ground. This way you can place traps in spots you most likely think enemies will bump into them at. But also be conscious of the angles enemies could have to potentially disable your traps. You know if they shoot the bottom part of your trap, it will be deactivated. It's always going to be a game of cat and mouse with this one. Some players are obviously more experienced than others, so they may be able to take on a caustic more strategically, whereas others won't care or won't know how to deal with a good caustic. This is where the true skill gap of playing Caustic comes in. If you guys are enjoying this video, please do me one favor and smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. This will only take a second of your time and helps push the video out to more people who may enjoy this. So thank you for doing that. Now you've seen me use his ultimate in this video a few different times. Some keys to using his Nox Grenade successfully are make sure to use it in close encounters so you can pounce on your enemies while they're still stuck in your gas. Generally, enemies will only be in your gas for two to four seconds max. And remember, the gas will only be active for 15 seconds. So this leaves a small window for you to catch them while they are disoriented in it. Very rarely will someone just die exclusively to your caustic gas. 
So there's no real reason to just use your ultimate on them from a distance if you can't capitalize on them while they're in it. You should also know that the cooldown on his ultimate is currently 3 minutes. Now I recommend carrying other throwables and combine them with your ultimate. As you saw in that previous clip, the Bloodhound was slowed for my Caustic Gas and I threw a Thermite right in front of them and they had to run through it. Grenades are very powerful in Apex if used properly, so think about how you can combine those with your ultimate and you'll be off to a good start. His ultimate does have a few other use cases though. You can use it as a crowd control technique where you need to cut off a point of access maybe while you heal or buy time to revive a teammate. And for this reason, Caustic is great at buying time and taking fights on his own time frame. He's also a top tier legend for revives. If there's a gold bag on your squad and you don't have a lifeline, Gibby or Mirage, the gold bag should go to Caustic. He is great at reviving teammates because his gas can block off opponents or buy time to get the revive off. So where does Caustic fit into the meta here on Stormpoint? Well, I've only played a few games of ranked, but I've played a lot of pubs so far and I would have to put him in A tier. The only thing keeping him from S tier is some of the large wide open spaces on this new map coupled with the extreme high and low ground. See, really good ranked teams will focus a Caustic if he's transitioning some open area. They know the threat a Caustic can be and he is a large target like I've mentioned. This makes him an easy focus for a team firing event. Now if you're playing with some friends this season, I recommend having at least one mobility legend always with Caustic. Legends like Valkyrie, Wraith, Ash, Pathfinder, or Octane. That way this mobility legend can help Caustic and the third teammate with rotations throughout the map. If you are solo queuing with him, it will be difficult at times. Those times will generally be when Caustic isn't in the best environment for him. There were plenty of times I got team fired on as a solo because I didn't have the appropriate cover despite my gas being a part of the fight. Another tip I have for you is always try to run at least one close range weapon. As you heard me say, close combat is Caustic's best way to go. So weapons like the Car, Peacekeeper, Mastiff, Eva 8, Volt, or R99 are excellent choices for Caustic. If you're seriously trying to master Caustic this season, remember three things. One, where on the map is it that you're taking this fight? Two, do you have your ultimate and traps readily available? And three, if you're solo, use the gas to try to isolate your opponents. That way you can take separate 1v1s. If you can get these three things down in your favor, you will be on your way to mastering Caustic overnight. If you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to check out my most recent upload, 20 tips that you must know for season 11. Thank you so much for watching. Also, link is in the description to join my Discord where you can find teammates to play with, talk about Apex, and just chill. I'll catch you on my next upload. Peace. Yo, one of them is cracked.